life can just be really overwhelming sometimes and we all have days where we just feel like we are about to lose it. I think that's totally fine and it's okay because we're all human. Whether it's work-related, school-related, or personally related, it happens and it happens to all of us. And I think while it's important to work through these hurdles in our lives, I think it's also important to just recognize that sometimes you need a mental breather and it's okay to step away from these situations and find some mental clarity. And whatever you do, it doesn't have to be something big. I feel like it's really about focusing on the little things sometimes and taking baby steps to work towards your bigger picture. Something that has been really helpful for me is just disconnecting. In today's world, it's so easy to feel like you need to keep up with everything, whether it's text messages, emails, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, like all of this stuff that's happening and we're just being inundated with information all the time. And it's good to kind of separate from that. So what I do is I put my phone on airplane mode and I've reached a point where in pretty much every day I have at least an hour or two where I'm just completely disconnected and that's usually in the morning and later at night like when I'm eating dinner but it wasn't always that way and it took time to get to this place. I started with five minutes of disconnecting every day, stretch that into 10, 15 minutes, stretch that into 30 minutes, and before you know it, you'll find that you have time in your day for yourself. I love, for example, making a cup of tea. I am really into this honey lavender tea that I have because lavender is just naturally soothing and it also just tastes really good in this tea. It's just something that you can put into your body that's instantly relaxing. And I'll have this cup of tea while I read a book or I do a little bit of writing. Reading and writing are two things that have just always been there for me throughout the course of my life and there's something that I've found very therapeutic and cathartic in a way where I can release whatever it is I'm feeling or just completely dive into a different world and kind of escape whatever I'm thinking about right now and that allows me to come back with a fresher mind. Sometimes if I have, you know, like five minutes, 10 minutes, not a ton of time to myself, but I really want to make the most of it, I will meditate. It's something that takes work and it takes time. It takes effort to learn how to do, to really force all of the clutter out of your mind and just focus on the present moment. If you're new to meditation like I am, I have found this app called Simply Being to be really helpful because sometimes you just need a little bit of guidance, like a soothing, guiding voice so you're not just left completely lost. But I think if you really focus on it and you're putting effort into it, it's almost gonna start to come more naturally. I feel like that's where I am and it's really cool to experience that change. Once you get a little bit more used to setting aside smaller chunks of time, I think it's great to work towards longer stretches of time that you can have to disconnect. For the most part, my Sundays are the day where I do the things that bring me joy and it refreshes me for the week ahead. Sometimes being in the same environment all the time can just automatically cause us to feel a little bit stifled without realizing it and it can be so amazing to just get out. This is something that I have found tremendously helpful over the course of my life, whether it's dealing with stuff when I was a little kid, getting in a fight with my parents or my friend or just being a grumpy little kid. And as I got older and I started to experience bigger life events like losing my dad when I was 17, my automatic response was to get outside and to just leave. It helped bring me inner peace, even if it was only for a few seconds. 
if you're feeling like you just really need to get away, I also love driving. I've done this whenever I just need a little bit of space to think and I want to be doing something, but I don't really want other people around. I just wanna be in my own encapsulated little world. Driving is the best thing for that and you can just blast whatever music you want You can roll down the windows and just drive aimlessly Just see what happens and let your mind free up a little bit all in all I think it really just comes down to this if you're feeling pressure to have it all figured out by now Don't no matter what your age no matter what you're doing we're all trying to figure life out and we're gonna have better days and we're gonna have sucky days and we're human beings at the end of the day and that's something that unites us all and should give us all a little bit of comfort because we're all in this together. I know Nugget, Nugget here. This little fluff ball helps me through so much whether I'm sick or I'm just having a poopy day, Nugget is, you know, sometimes the best medicine. Right, Nuggos? Yeah.